Hello everybody and thank you for coming back once again. So in this chapter, as, uh, as I was mentioning in the other one, I'm going to focus on building up the, the tail surfaces. So here I've already built up the, the stabilizer and I believe you can see, let's see if I can point at it, I've put in one extra spar let's say, so that I, in the future I can then cut it across here and then have the movable surface. For that I had to adapt just one little piece, this one, D5, so that I had to shorten it so that this one would fit. And then I plan, once everything is done, to put in maybe two, maybe three. I'll try to put maybe three hinges, one here, one in the middle, and one there, so that it moves it moves nicely. And, uh, and that's, let's say, the progress on the stabilizer and the, the elevator. One tip that I got of uh, one of the YouTube videos or one of the, the best model builders that we have around is also to watch out to put the, the numbers, the printed numbers uh, on the same side. And you can put them facing down for example and then it doesn't, it doesn't get in the way. Or you can send them off also. So that's a stabilizer. Then the next one that I still haven't started is the, the vertical rudder. I'm going to have to do the same. So let's see if I can then update you later putting one extra spar here so that I can then put in the hinges and this whole piece will be movable so let's see how how that will be will be working and then we'll go to the fuselage but let's see that will be step by step so thank you once again for tuning in and I'll keep you posted on this one so the stabilizer is pretty much finished I've, I've sanded it down a little bit and then I will have to cut here so that uh, I can put in the hinges but I'll I'll do that when I have a moment. I've also laid down the rudder and again I've doubled, not sure if it can be seen actually, uh, I've doubled uh, the, the main strut or the central strut so that I can put there the hinge, same as on the, on the elevator. Now the next challenge is then the fuselage and this is, uh, it's a good design I think Willows has, which uh, we put down the keel, the top and the bottom and then we pop out and I'll sand also the edges of the pieces of the, of the frames and then put in the longer ones and all that and then do it on the other side. Now as I get to this, and this will probably be then a full chapter, um, I still have to figure out where I'm going to put in the ESC, where I'm going to put in the, the battery and all these things because one of the challenges that, uh, that we have on this one that is different from, from the Spitfire is that as we can see on the picture the wing is actually mounted in the center. On the Spitfire and, and, uh, and a lot of other airplanes, it's a, it's a low, mounted, low mounted wing. This one is a mid mounted wing. So I have to figure out where I'm going to put in the servo to control the ailerons, which I suppose I will mount on the wing. And then where I'm going to put in also the ESC. Also by the design of this one, um, the, the nose is much shorter, this ha had a radial engine, not a, not a V12 like the Spitfire, so the nose is much stubbier, let's say, so that's going to be probably one of the, of the upcoming chapters of how I put in all the, where do I house all the, the ESC and the battery and things like that, but that'll, that'll come, so the wing I put aside, and now what I'll do, I'll lay down the, the key for the fuselage and I'll do at least half of it. The other half I might leave undone until I figure all the other problems, but that's going to be then uh, the next step. So, And there I've put in all the fuselage formers. As you see, they're numbered. I put in the first one backwards, like I put in the other one, but it doesn't really matter, it still works. Um, one comment also on these is that there are some, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's visible, but here for example, there, there's so much detail, they're so well cut with the laser cut that uh, it would be very very difficult to cut, cut actually manually. Possible of course with the, the short and the, the small sharp, sharp knives we use. Also the, the gaps for the, for the longer ones, they're very very well cut. So that's a, a big plus of using these laser cut models because it really, it really makes it much easier. What I have done, and I will do also on the other side, I've sanded down the, the performers just to remove the burnt marks from the, from the laser cutting. And uh, what I do actually, I put in the pins first, as vertical as I can, and then I put in the piece. Because uh, I think on the first ones I put in the piece and then I try to put the pins down, but it's not really working so well. So I developed the other tactic. I don't know if there's anything better to do, any other better tactic. 
uh, but that's that's what I do. Also, lessons learned from the previous one. Uh, there's one slot here for the for the side keel, and I tried it before putting it putting the pieces on because on the Spitfire it turned out that the side keel was wider, so I had to sand down in place a lot of the well, most of the of the fuselage formers. So. Uh, I learned my lesson and I tried them. These fit better, so so let's hope it doesn't happen like that. I have to sand down. If I have to sand down, then it won't be so so bad. So that's the um, the formers for the fuselage, and uh, I'm going to let it set overnight. I'm going to put it aside, and then maybe tomorrow, whenever I find more time, then I'll I'll get back to it. So. One thing I'm puzzled by, and I still don't know how to what it is, is that on some of the of the formers there's this kind of indentation here and I'm not sure what that is for uh, I do see here that uh, some of the formers they have like a dotted holes and that will be cut off so I ex assume that's where the wing will go through but now I'm really puzzled by this little thing here and uh, and there's also a little bit of it here apparently so I'm not sure what it is I suppose the answer will be on the other side of the plant so I'll have to wait until this dries to pull it up but um, yeah, interesting. Nice little puzzle. I'll keep on thinking. Let's see if I guess right. And here is half of the fuselage that I put together. As you can see, it starts to get the, the shape, some reinforcements there in the back, and, uh, and all the longer ones, the stringers going along the, the fuselage. I had to turn the plan over so that I could see exactly where they would go, and they fit in quite nicely. I did find out what those gaps are for, and that there's a piece here A7, not sure if you can see it, A7, this one, um, that uh, will be holding also the wing in place and that's as far as I'm going to do now. I might put on some of the formers on the other side but not many, maximum maybe the last two because then on the next chapter, on the next video, I'll be installing the electronics and all let's say, the, the inner workings of the, of the airplane which is going to be a challenging itself. So, wrapping up this one, Thank you everybody for watching, as usual, um, for sure leave me your comments and questions and hopefully also some tips and tricks which I need to learn constantly and I'll see you on the next time.